Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video, we're gonna be doing our sketch, Friday sketch series number 185. And we're gonna be using this sketch. I got it from um, Pinterest and I have a board there. So if you ever, my Pinterest link is down in the more section and you can always um, go over there and check out um, my boards that is totally just all card sketches. Okay. So what I did was, is I tried to figure out, okay, this is where I want this to be placed. How big or how much do I have to cut off of each of the ends? And so to get it to where I had almost like a half an inch um, on that bottom side and the left side or the right side, I guess, and where we're looking, I figured out that I needed to measure it to three and three fourths by five inches. And then that would give me enough space to have a slight border on the left, that half an inch on the right, and then the half an inch at the bottom. And then for the next piece up, I just, I didn't want as big, so I just had to go a quarter of an inch bigger, right? So the next one, and i am got my ruler here so I can make sure I'm measuring it right. Yeah, so the next one is four and three fourths by three and a half okay that's that polka dot paper and then my next one which I did have to adjust it a little bit as you can see thank God for the wet glue because that allowed me a little bit of wiggle room to be able to pull it up and then move it to the side and then our next gold paper is measured at three and a quarter by four and a half and using the tape runner um, and some art glitter glue because that gives me a little bit of wiggle room time to be able to move stuff around if I needed to make sure it's nice and lined up and then our top focal image is the one that I did um, for Tuesday's video um, it was a technique video using black watercolor paper and um, coloring with the Prima soluble uh, pastel crayons. They're like crayons. I call them crayons. Um, and I cut it down so it was exactly four and a quarter by three inches. Okay. And then I started to use the tape runner on the back and of course the paper started peeling. This paper is so soft, this watercolor paper. You can't use um, the Tombow adhesives on it. It comes right up. So I had to use either the score tape or use your ATG. Um, it does work on it, but yeah. And I always try it first and then I'm like, oh, that's right. I'm not supposed to use that one. <laughs> But once you get it inked up, I'm just laying it down um, and making sure that at the top and left hand side, the pattern paper are all lining up as even as possible. So there's no edge around there and you just get the layers on the bottom and the right hand side. So I have the sentiment that I wanted to use and there's enough space down there. I could attach it in the white section. I could also kind of attach it like in the middle. I couldn't decide so I decided to grab a piece of chocolate and sometimes this helps it just you know soothes the mind gives you time to think I'm gonna grab some foam you know I like to keep it real with you guys sometimes it's just like okay I need a second finish that little piece of chocolate <laughs> let's put some foam tape I'm gonna cut another piece to go on the back and the whole time I'm thinking where am I gonna put this thing you know I know I want to have it stand out so that's why I'm adding the foam so it gives it a little bit of dimension and it was fighting me a little bit but I'm able to get it back on and then I'm gonna take the backing off and right here wins at the end of it I was just like you know what I like the way it looks as a part of that focal image instead of messing with the pattern papers 
Um, if you have extra strips of paper, which I do, um, if that had been a little bit longer, I could have done a strip of that in the inside, um, take one of the scrap pieces and then put a piece of the pattern paper, you know, as an accent in there. You can do a lot of different things, you know, um, just don't be limited by just using the pattern paper on the front. You can use it on the inside too. So here are some close-ups of our finished product. Um, real quick, I just want to say thank you guys for joining me today. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And leave some comments down below. I love reading them, and I always try and answer everybody. Even if it's not the same day, I do go back and um, try and leave a comment to or a response to whatever you put down. So thanks again, you guys. I hope you enjoy your weekend. And I hope you have a great day.